hey guys it's Katie and welcome back to another video in today's video i have another goodwill haul for you guys this time it's not just yarn there is some knitting needles and a few other things i found as well so i'm going to be sharing all of that with you guys in today's video so i did get quite a lot of stuff so we need to just get straight into this okay we have bag number one right here of three so i found this on the shelf so this is a bag that i'm pretty sure is actually meant to hold yarn because if you can see on the ends there are um little holes through here so i'm pretty sure you're meant to put your yarn in here and then you know pull it out and work with it but this actually has a bunch of knitting needles in it so i'm gonna open this up for the first time i didn't open it in the store or anything so this is gonna be my first impressions of oh, what is in here so this was actually the cheapest thing i got and this was for two dollars and 98 cents and if you guys saw my last goodwill video you'll know that they have 50 percent off of a certain color tag each week i believe it was red this week and unfortunately i didn't get anything with a red tag so I didn't get anything for half off. First thing I pulled out is this bag, which has a circular knitting needle in it. And there's actually just a piece of paper that has the number seven written on this. So I guess that's how they knew um, what size these were. So next there are these double pointed bamboo knitting needles by Clover. These look as if they have never been opened and these are five millimeters next there is a piece of plastic that has nothing in it and then next there is i can't even tell you what this is this is oh hold on i can tell you that this is by coats and clark incorporated but the tag on the top came off of it so i can't even tell you what this is i thought it was knitting needles but it looks like there's a spring in it. So, I don't know, maybe there's something in here that'll tell me what that is. Next we have another bag, which this is a 6.5 millimeter circular needle, according to the package that's in here. So this one is a gray one. Next thing I pulled out is this package of beads, actually, which says part of it is in a different language, but the company is create and craft or create a craft. This is just a little package of black beads and there is some thread at the top of this as well. So I don't know. <laughs> like I said, this was probably somebody's bag of knitting stuff that they used at some point and I have it now because it's a good problem. <laughs> anyway, this is a pack of of double pointed needles as well there are some in here that are wood and some in here that are plastic but it says addy is the brand made in germany a d d i and it says 15 centimeter slash 3.25 millimeters so there's a variety in here of different double pointed needles Next, we have some little thread scissors. I found one knitting needle that is four millimeters. We shall see if we find the other one. Oh, you guys, there's crochet hooks in here too. That means this person crocheted a knitted. Okay, I don't know why that just made me so excited, but it did. This is a pack of boy crochet hooks. So there is a 3.75 millimeter, 4.25 millimeter, five millimeter and five and a half millimeter okay i pulled this out but i'm gonna open this in a second because i did find more knitting needles so i don't want to see if this is the matching one okay yes so this is the matching knitting needle to this one these are both four millimeters and then there is a stray double pointed needle and this one says it is 4.25 so I'm just going to finish off everything that's in here and then we'll go through this little baggie that has more knitting needles in it. So there is this little thing with black yarn on it as well as a little bit of black yarn left over. 
I will probably just throw this away because it's not enough to really do anything with. But that's in here, so. I found another crochet hook. This one does not say a size. So I don't know, but it is a really small one. I can tell you that. And then there's also this double pointed knitting needle, which also does not have any um, markings on it. So can't tell you a size for that either. And then there are these, which I think this tag that I found in the bag went on top of this. So this tag does say also from boy and it says stitch holders. So I assume it's kind of like a stitch marker. I know what this is for now that I'm seeing it. I'm assuming I'm not very advanced in knitting yet. So please correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm assuming you would put your knitting project on one of these if you need to use like the needles for a different project or something to have like kind of a placeholder you would use these i could be wrong but yeah that's what it looks like to me and i still have no clue what these are but yeah it looks like they're springs and stuff so um anyway if anybody that is more advanced in knitting i'm assuming this is a knitting tool but if anybody knows what this is please tell me in the comments because that would be really great to know because now that i have it i'm like what do i even use that for okay so this is a pack of a few different things i'm gonna open it in just a second but one thing that i did want to note is that this bag does say 15 dollars and 98 cents on it so somebody at some point bought this for that price so we're now gonna open this little ziploc baggie so I'm just going to kind of slide everything out because I think it's in kind of an order because the packages are with each of the knitting needles. So I'm trying to keep it together. So the first one that is on top is this set of circular needles, which I'm assuming goes with this tag that was right underneath it. So this says it is six millimeter US 10, 29 inch circular needles so I think that's what this one is next one we have are another thing of circular needles this one is a Susan Bates pack and it says six millimeter 10 US so again same size as the last one 32 inches and the final one that was in here has this with it and it says six millimeter US 10 24 inch so these are all six millimeters just different um sizes for the circular part that's what was in this little bag so i'll definitely be cleaning out this bag and the stuff like wiping it all down and everything but yeah that was pretty interesting to go through so now the rest of the things will be a little bit quicker because it's just like bags of stuff so the other thing that was in this same Goodwill bag is these yarns. So this is the only one that I got that is actually like full complete balls of yarn. So these are all black yarns and they are cotton sport, 100% cotton sport weight yarn. So I'm realizing now that they have a really weird stench to them. So that's great. Definitely going to wash this, which you should wash everything you get from Goodwill, but that's besides the point, or any thrift store. <laughs> There's a lot of these in this bag, so I did get this bag of yarn for $3.98, and all of these are the same yarn, again, 100% cotton sport weight yarn. It smells sour, so that's great, but it is 100 grams 275 yards oh and the brand is yarn brunswick america's quality yarn so these do smell really bad but i'm gonna count how many of them there are and then we're gonna move on so there are six of these total i'm going to leave this bag open in this room to hopefully kind of air it out and we're gonna move on to the next step the fact that i could smell it through the bag without even opening it but i didn't smell it in goodwill 
because if I smelled that while I was in Goodwill, I probably would have chosen a different bag of yarn, but hopefully I can wash that smell out. It just smells like it got wet and then it soured. Like if you leave your clothes in the washing machine for too long, it, it smells sour like that. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on. So the last two bags both have one bag in them. So let's hope this does not smell as bad. So I'm gonna actually open one at a time. So this one has a lot of projects in it that look like they are completed. So this one was $9.98, but for a lot of completed projects. So I'm really excited to see these projects and open them up. And then the next bag actually, well, I'm not gonna spoil that actually. We're just gonna open this one and then we will see about the next one afterward. But this one does look to have completed projects, so that's what I was most excited about. Okay, so immediately when opening this, there is this, um, like, pot holder. This is, like, peppermint color, so kind of cute for Christmas. So these little, um, things look like phone holders to me. I've seen a lot of patterns like this that are meant for, like, phone holders. But it could also be like soap bar holders. Either way, little container things. This is so cute. We actually have one of these in our house. It's a little butterfly magnet. So it's got a magnet on the back and then it is shaped like a butterfly. So that is adorable. These look like, <laughs> well, first off, the person didn't weave in the end, which is kind of funny to me because that's my least favorite part as well. So this one looks like a Christmas tree ornament to me because there is this little piece. This one doesn't have it. So I'm like, are they coasters? Are they ornaments? I don't really know, but they're cute anyway. Okay, I'm gonna have to start going way faster through this stuff because there's a lot of it. So there's two more of these that look like um, little Christmas tree ornaments to me. Another one. This one looks the same, but bigger to me. So maybe this one's meant to be a coaster. We have another butterfly in a different color. We have these two things, which they almost look, okay, there's like a metal piece in the circle spot. So I don't know. Again, another thing that if you guys know what this is meant to be, leave it in the comment section for me. Okay, we have another project that maybe is like a dishcloth or something don't know for sure also this bag of stuff thankfully does not smell terrible like the other one we have another circle coaster thingy this looks like a doll skirt to me but i could be wrong on that again it's up to interpretation because i can't talk to the person that made this stuff okay this is cute this is a lemon um pot holder i believe it looks like a lemon to me and whoever this was is exactly like me because they didn't weave in any of their ends and that is so funny to me because that's my least favorite part as well okay definitely a dishcloth i think it also has the little handle thing yet again so you can hang it from like a knob or something in your kitchen okay this is cute i don't know what it is though maybe it's like a Y'all, this is so funny of me trying to guess what this stuff is. So, either it's a dog toy, but I don't think you would make a dog toy out of yarn because um, while this is sturdy, most yarn is not that sturdy. Um, the other thing I can think of is maybe it's like one of those things that you hang down and you put grocery bags in, but I don't know where you put the grocery bags in it. So, either way, it's cute. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Next, we have a little purse. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this little yellow purse. A lot more of these. Um, I'm just gonna stop mentioning whenever I find these coaster thingies because I don't know what they really are. We have another dishcloth, which again has a little handle thingy. I know with a little handle thingy is something that they did a lot back in the day because I have a lot of projects from my grandma and my great grandma. Both of them always put those things on. I know what these are, you guys. At least this one looks like an angel to me. Am I making stuff up? I really don't know. This does look like an angel to me. But who really knows what it was meant to be? 
But this is another one of those things where I think there's like a metal piece in here. So I don't know. Okay, we have two more dish cloths. We have another doll skirt, I think. At least that's what I'm calling it. We have another one of these like holder pouches another doll skirt i'm really just calling them whatever i want to at this point i'm sorry if i'm wrong on this stuff another one all the rest of the objects are in little ziploc bags so i'm gonna open the ziploc bags so we have more dish cloths they're kind of the same as the others i'm not gonna even open this one because i can tell you they're like the same dish cloths more dish cloths more dish cloths Whatever this is, is very heavy and has a paper in it. So I'm going to wait to open this to the end, actually, because we have one more in here. And then I'll open that other one. So these also have the little um, handle on them. But it's, like, cushy in the middle. So it almost, to me, seems like a makeup remover pad or something. But there are five of them in this bag. Let's open the final bag that was in here. I want to see what it says on this paper. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why is that almost going to make me cry? So I don't know if this lady just gave it to Goodwill and wanted to put this note in here. Or if she gifted this to somebody and then they gave it to Goodwill. But I'm gonna open this and then I'll read you the little note. So this is really heavy. So I'm kind of afraid to open that. I think it might be a soap bar actually. Cause this to me looks like a loofah. Yeah, this looks like a loofah to me. So I think this may be a soap bar, which I don't wanna know how old this soap bar is, if I'm being honest with you, but it's like a little soap holder. Okay, yeah, it's got a um, a cover on it, but it's a soap bar. That's kind of cute. Okay, she gifted all of this to somebody. Now, I don't know if she only made... I'm assuming she made everything that I just showed you guys. So this... I'm going to read you guys it. It says, hello, my name is Deborah Williams. I am a 44-year-old stay-at-home slash homeschool mom. I am married to an over-the-road truck driver slash trainer. I am a mother of five four daughters, 20, 19, 9, 5, and one stepson, 14. I began crocheting when expecting my first child. I put it aside after the first couple of years. Life just seemed to get in the way. I was able to leave the workforce a couple of years ago and have since picked back up the art. I usually do afghans, but I have ventured into other types of projects over the last year. I really admire those who can see to do tiny threads. I hope you enjoy the little project I have done for you. It's not perfect, but it's handmade. Take care. God bless you and yours. Deborah Williams. So this is so cute. I really want to know who Deborah is now. Um, Deborah, if you're watching this, I will treasure it. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, we have one more bag to go through, and I've been recording for over, like, half an hour now, so we're gonna go through that as fast as possible, and on this bag, I know I saw a person's name, and it was, like, a business card, and it said handmade by someone, so we're gonna see in this next one. So that one was all completed projects. This one I bought specifically because it seemed like uncompleted projects. So last bag, let's go. So I actually thought it was one big bag in there, but I realize now that it's two small bags. So each of these are $4.98. So I'm gonna start out with one and do the other. So I am just gonna say that this seems to me to be a bunch of granny squares. And I thought it'd be really fun to do a video where I make all of these granny squares into something. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But um, I'm just going to show you all these. So here's the first two. Quite a lot of them in like red, white, and blue. This one is so pretty. Look at those. Hold on. I got to show you guys a close up of this one. 
look at those flowers in the center of that one okay so cute just a purple one next this one is cute too it's got a lot of detail this one is just like some greens some more greens y'all can see how high this is piling up now because there's so much stuff okay this is the same pattern again with blue okay and some of these next ones say handmade just for you vicky weaver wagon wheel square is what this one says and this is just rainbow cute one this one says the same thing but it says warm jewel granny square here's another one here's another red white and blue one another one with cute flowers another just colorful one a white and blue one and a pink white and blue one this is the last granny square in this bag so this one is just purple and white okay so again to vicky weaver i am sorry that whoever you gave this to donated it to goodwill but i if you guys want to see it i'm going to use all of this and make it into some sort of project with all of these granny squares okay so we're now going on to the next one which is yet again all granny squares and i'll let you know if i see another tag like that that says the same lady's name or whatever but this one is really cute christmas colors another one that's really cute for christmas this is um i think meant to be like a reef or something i'm sorry if it's not focusing on all of these it tries to focus on my face the whole time even though i'm trying to show you this but um yeah i think this is meant to be like a christmas reef we have another one that is like a snowflake maybe this is the christmas bag because we have another snowflake we have more christmas colors another christmas one that has like a stocking on it here's another christmas one that actually has like a a tree kind of or it's like a pin on it a green one a green sparkly one with a star in the middle more christmas colors with like a green button in the middle more christmas colors okay this is also christmas colors just like a darker red and a darker green and i believe that's all of the christmas colors but there are a couple more in this bag so with all the christmas ones this is all the christmas ones so i could probably do something really cool with this and maybe make my own christmas ones as well to add to it so let me know if y'all want to see like a christmas cardigan or a christmas blanket or something out of that but anyway, I'm going to show you the rest of these. So we have another one that is like the same color scheme as one of them I pulled out earlier. So I'm assuming this is all from the same lady probably. We have a yellow one and a purple one. We have an orange one and like a teal um, pinkish one. Another one with like a flower in the middle, super cute. I really need to do green squares like that because that is so cute a teal and yellow one and the final two we have one that is like yellow and greens and uh, pinks and blues and then we have this one which is yellows and whites and purple and green and blue all kinds of stuff there oh my goodness y'all that was a lot for me to go through I apologize you can see some of it kind of piled up on the table there's just so much on this table currently from what i have gone through that you've seen me go through in this video so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video and if you ever bought anything like this from a thrift store because this was so interesting to me whenever i saw especially the granny squares i was like i'm gonna get these and make something out of them because i just think it's incredible the amount of granny squares i found and i only bought two bags of them like there were two or three more bags at the goodwill anyway so do let me know if you guys want to see a video like that and also let me know what i should make out of these granny squares because i have a lot of ideas like cardigans blankets maybe like crop top 
anything like that I think could be super cute but let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys do want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video also let me know if you know Deborah Williams or Vicki Weaver that live in Florida or their stuff could have gotten to like the Tampa Florida area because that's where I am so I would love to know if they're you know if anybody knows them I don't know so if you guys do want to see more from me you can check out more videos of mine my blog my Etsy shop my podcast and more videos of mine all of that is linked in the description box down below for you guys and with all of that thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>